After our customers have spent a few days or weeks with their new espresso setup, we often hear that they're enjoying their espresso, but they're starting to notice small inconsistencies from shot to shot or from day to day. There are three main reasons that account for nearly all of these inconsistencies. Coffee freshness, grind retention, and the amount of beans in the hopper. All three are incredibly easy to solve. In this video, I'll show you how to figure out which one might be affecting your shots and how to fix it. First, let's start with one that applies to every brewing method, coffee freshness. When coffee is exposed to oxygen and light, the compounds within it begin to break down. This destroys some of the flavor in the coffee, as well as making it more porous. If your shots have been pulling faster and faster over the course of a week or two, and you have to adjust your grind setting dramatically to compensate, this is likely due to your coffee not being quite fresh enough. Luckily, keeping coffee fresh is easy. First, you should grind your beans right before brewing. Grounds don't stay fresh for more than a few hours, so a home grinder is key. Second, you'll need a reasonably sized airtight container that also blocks light. If your coffee comes in a resealable bag, that'll work great. Even better are canisters custom made with coffee in mind, like the Airscape canisters or Fellows Atmos canisters. Further, you should avoid storing more than a couple days worth of coffee in your hopper at a time, as hoppers aren't airtight. And always check that your coffee is within a few weeks of its roast date. Our second main cause is grind retention. All grinders hold on to some amount of grounds after grinding. When you grind your dose of coffee for that first shot of the day, the stale dried out grounds from yesterday are going to end up in that dose too. These stale grounds will cause your first shot to pull a little fast, while your second shot might pull as expected. There's an easy workaround to this, which is grinding a few grounds of coffee before your first dose and tossing them. Doing this will flush out the stale grounds and replace them with fresh ones, ensuring that your first shot of the day will be just as good as the last. We recommend doing this if your grinder's been sitting idle for more than about five hours. The third main factor is something that can come as a surprise, the level of the beans in your hopper. Most grinders are meant to operate with some downward force from the beans resting in the hopper. This keeps beans moving into the burr chamber quickly and smoothly. When your hopper is running low, that downward force starts to decrease. Not only can this affect your time doses, giving you slightly less coffee than you expected, it can also cause the grind size to skew a bit coarser. The latter involves complex particle physics that I don't understand, but in practice it can easily be proven true. To avoid this, make sure your hopper is always at least one-third full. That'll provide enough downward force to keep things consistent. Those are the three most common things that can cause inconsistent shots. As a bonus, I have one last tip for those of you with heat exchanger machines. Due to the way that heat exchangers heat water for brewing, they tend to have water that's just off boiling at the group head when they come up to temp. This is far too hot for brewing. The hot water and the expansion of steam it produces causes water to blast through the coffee, pulling your shot much faster than you'd like. This disappointing effect is lovingly referred to as a gusher. New heat exchanger owners will often notice that their first shot of the day is way too fast, but their second shot is always spot on. There's an easy fix, and it's called a cooling flush. By purging some water from the group head for 10 seconds or so before your first shot, you can get the water in your machine down to a good brewing temp, and your first shot will pull according to plan. That's it. We hope these simple tips help you keep your shots right on target. If you've experienced inconsistent shots and one of these tricks was the solution, be sure to hit the like button. If it wasn't, or if you have any other questions, let's talk in the comments below. For more coffee knowledge, tamp subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.